What's up home slice, Lucas here. Now if you can do this stretch that I'm about to show you, then you can do a backflip within three minutes. But you gotta focus. Now this video might be a little bit longer than three minutes because I'm gonna explain to you guys how to do this. Squatting position, hand out, fingers facing that way. Watch, hips, push up. Now we're gonna take this other arm and we're gonna set it over and back, just like that, okay? Boom. That's what I like to call the pre-bridge stretch, or uh, frick, there's probably some name for this in yoga, okay? Seriously. Now, how are we gonna turn this stretch into a backflip? Very easy, simple progressions. Squat down, hand out, in. Now you're gonna focus on the opposite side. So for me, that's my right side, my right leg and my right arm. These are gonna drive us over and back, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be in the squat position, scoot out a little bit so you get a little bit more distance, and see if you can go into a bridge stretch. Okay, good. This time, when going into that pre-bridge stretch, what I want you to do, kick that right leg and thrust that right arm. You're kicking and swinging with the right side. See? Now that should take you about 30 seconds to figure out. It's really easy. If you're having trouble figuring out how to go around and upside down, just get down like this, and instead of doing anything, just walk around. Use these same kickers right here and kick around the side like that. Then you're like, oh man, I'm feeling more confident. So try to kick towards this shoulder. Try to kick this leg towards that shoulder and over. Next step, we're gonna progress this. Bring it out in the back like this. See how it's down facing in? Bring it up and around. Look at how it's in the front like this. You see that? It's in the front sideways. It's not like this in the front, okay? It doesn't go in the back all upside down like that. It goes in the back inwards. So it's in the front like this. You see that? Arm over, back, fingers pointing inward, thrust up, kick, and over. In one continuous step. Add a little bit of speed to that. There you go. Now add a little bit more speed to that, okay? All right, next step. We're going to go into that pre-bridge stretch from standing, from higher up, not from a deep squat, but you're only gonna last inside of it for a second as you kick around. Stand, around, kick, over, going around the side, but we're basically ending up almost going upside down. It's perfect. Yo, watch the magic happen right here. Just watch it happen. All we have to do is continue to increase our aggression on this jump and we can bring our other hand up and over as well. Just drive them both now and try to keep your feet together as well. Closing the gap between our legs. Oh, did you, what? You basically just did a back handspring right there. <laughs> Bonus. Crappy back handspring, okay? It still, still felt kind of wobbly. And you're like, screw that back handspring. I just want to go straight to the backflip. <laughs> well, okay, Skippy. <laughs> Physics, just take the hand away, okay? But make sure you tuck it tight, and then you're basically going to be doing a hack flip. If you attempt this at your own risk, be sure to follow through. You got to follow through just like you've been following through on all of these pre bridge stretch to walkovers. You've been following through with every one of those, so you just gotta keep following through. You know how to do this. You can do this now because of this stretch, because of this progression, you can follow through. Just keep following through. <sighs> See how low and slow? But I followed through. And then from there, we just clean it up by leaning over more back, more back, work on the jump, and there you go. You have a backflip. If you can do that pre-bridge stretch, you can do a backflip. It only takes a simple progression yeah, you can do it in three minutes, but guys, remember, take your time. It's not about rushing it, all right? I like to make these videos saying that you can do it in three minutes because you can, you can, but a lot of our minds are clouded, they're clogged up, almost all of our minds are, so be sure to take your time, get that clog out, work on repetition, repetition, but don't get stuck, okay? Think positive thoughts, think positive mindset, and always follow through and always practice safely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all your positive support and feedback. Let me know if you guys wanna see more, more videos like this. I'm certain you do. This is like number like 35 on the backflip tutorial list. Hey, hey, I ain't complaining.
I'll keep making. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more videos coming out. Hope you guys all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.